Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Before we get started, have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button on my main page. And once you have done this, don't forget to click on that bell to be the first to get notified when I upload a new video. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at Tencent Gaming Buddy. This is an emulator that allows you to run PUBG Mobile on your computer. It's actually designed by the makers of PUBG Mobile, which is great news for us, because they have made this emulator run PUBG Mobile the best on the PC. So they reckon, anyway, they believe this emulator will run PUBG Mobile better than any of the other Android emulators, such as BlueStacks, Nox Player, Andy Emulator, and others. We are going to be taking a look at just how good this emulator is. Have they done a good job on the emulator? I don't know yet, but I'm about to find out. Also, with this emulator, it will only allow you to play against other people using this emulator, which means you won't be able to play against other players that are running PUBG Mobile on their phone. You will only be able to play against players that are using the actual emulator, like I just said. Right, to get this emulator, all you need to do is head on over to the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. Once you're on this page, you now need to go ahead and press download and you need to go save file. Once the file has finished downloading, we can now run the setup file and we can go ahead and press customize and just make sure we're happy where it's going to install. I'm happy with that, so I'm going to go ahead and press install. Once the install has finished, we can now go ahead and press start. And it will now begin to download PUBG Mobile. This may take a little while depending on how fast your internet connection is. Once PUBG has finished downloading, it will automatically launch the game and you will end up with a window that looks like this. And straight away, the good news is, this emulator supports Ultra HD 2K, which is fantastic news for us. But you do need a really good graphics card. That's the bad news. You do need above a GTX 1060. Or if you want to run HD 1080p, you only need a GTX 660 or higher. I don't have a 1060, I only have a GTX 960, but I'm actually gonna go ahead and try and use the Ultra HD 2K and see what happens. Once you have selected what resolution you would like to use, you now need to go ahead and press save. And you now need to go ahead and press restart now. Once the game has launched again, you will end up with a notice that says emulator detected your group and you will only be paired with players using emulators, which is fine. That is the only option you have with this emulator, unfortunately. You need to go ahead and press OK. And you now need to choose what experience you have in shooting games. I'm just going to leave it on rookie for now and go OK again. And we now need to select our in-game graphics. I'm just going to leave it on high and press got it. And let's just press the X here and X again. Now it's time to just quickly have a little look at the settings of the emulator. On the right hand side here, as you can see, we have our controls. If we go down one, we have shake. We can change the emulator to full screen like that. And if we just take it back out of full screen by pressing F11, we can then go down again and we have multi-window, we can do a screenshot, we can do some video recording, or we can change our virtual location. If we go to the top here and click on the menu button, we have a few more options. I'm actually going to go ahead and press settings. And here we have basics, run at startup, we have our screen capture location, and we have the engine. At the minute, my rendering is on smart mode, but you can choose from DirectX, OpenGL, DirectX again, and OpenGL. Sorry, the two at the start, they say OpenGL plus and DirectX plus. If we go down to the next row, we have render cache, in force global render cache, and prioritize dedicated GPU. We also have anti-aliasing, we have our memory, processor, resolution, and DPI. 
as you can see, there are a lot of options there, which is fantastic. I will do another video showing you what the best settings are for the emulator. If we go down one, we have our game, which as you can see, we have our resolution on Ultra HD. We also have our display quality, which is currently on auto. I'm now going to go ahead and jump into a game and see how well this emulator performs. As you can see, I do have my FPS benchmarking tool on, which will show us our frames per second in game. Right, as you can see, we are now in game and we are currently getting 30 frames per second. The game does actually feel really smooth. I do like that. As you can see, if I just move the screen around, it does feel nice and smooth. I'm now going to just fast forward until we land on ground and see how well it actually performs. And there we go. As you can see, we are now on ground and we are getting 30 frames per second, which is nice. It's actually locked onto that. It's not dropping at all, unlike some of the other emulators. Let's just go into this building and see what frames per second we get. And it's the, oh, it did just drop them to 27. Oh, and it's just glitched again down to 14 frames per second. Okay, we are getting a bit of lag now that we're actually picking up some weapons. I'm not sure why it's doing that. There we go, but it is now smooth again. Let's just run over here and see what happens. It's doing good. It's actually not doing bad. Oh, it just started again. Yeah, it, it is dropping a bit, actually. If I remember rightly, when I did run blue stacks, I did not get any stuttering like that. But then I wasn't running such a high resolution, which is probably the issue here. As, like I said at the start of the video, I have only got a GTX 960. I don't have a 1060 graphics card, which it did recommend you need to have for res running the resolution that I selected. And that is it for this video. I do recommend you give this emulator a try. Like I said, I think the lag is down to the resolution that I chose. I hope this video helped. If it did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.